I want to talk about exile a little bit and how poetry engages with notions of place and being able to recreate memory. And, and I want to ask you about your relationship with the United States where you had this terrible experience and also your relationship with Cambodia, which is a country you had to discover. Uh, America is, it's, it's a melting pot, like I said. Um, I mean, I miss my family, I love my family, they're all there, you know. And, but and you can't go back? I can't go back. I mean, yeah, that's the thing, like, you know, you grow up, I was, because I, I was born in a refugee camp, you know. So I was born in Thailand, actually. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, and then being raised in the States, I mean, going to kindergarten, going to school, you know, you learn about all sorts of things, you pledge allegiance to the flag, you do all sorts of things, like, you know, the thing was, what, Cambodian slash American, so it was Cambodian American, and now it's just Cambodian. <laughs> um, so, but I, I, for as far as my relationship with Cambodia is concerned, it's, it's newfound and I'm loving it. I mean, I, I do. Uh, and rooted in poetry. In yes, poetry. Yeah. yes. Um, coming back, I've always felt Cambodia has called me home. You know, I mean, I, I consider Cambodia as almost a motherland, mother. And at one point, she couldn't take care of her, her kids. At one point she was dying, at one point she was starving, at one point she couldn't take care of them and she had to let them go. So she let them go, telling them, hey, I want, you know, go, live, be free, learn, enjoy life. I'm sorry I can't take care of you. I am so sorry. But one day, one day I will call you back. One day I will heal. One day when you come back, you will bring all that you know. And you will help me. And you will be able to take care of me as I try to take care of you. So, in a lot of ways, I felt Cambodia called me back. You know, my homeland did call me back. My motherland called me back. I just miss my family. Do you think it's poetry that's made you philosophical? <laughs> Yes, I mean, poetry has done so much for me in my life. Yeah, I have no idea. Poetry spoke to me in a way where, like, I had all these, like I said, all these emotions. And I couldn't really label it. I couldn't give it a name. I couldn't give it power. And, like, it was taking too much power of just, like, you know, uncontrolled. And then when I started writing poetry, and I started writing these emotions out, then in a way I took that power back. I took that control back and say, no, you're not gonna control me. I'm gonna control your emotions and how I funnel it to the world.